Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to develop black and white film with the Ago film processor. I'm going to start this video by talking about the developing machine itself and give you some background information about the company who makes it. And then I'm going to share some thoughts that I have about developing machines in general. So if you want to skip forward to the tutorial, feel free to do so. The Ago is made by Vintage Visual, which began three years ago when it started renting out film cameras to the Estonian market. About a year after that, Vintage Visual started the development of the Ago film processor with the noble mission of helping analog photography survive, or at least try to make film developing much easier at home, so people won't have to rely so much on labs. At the moment, there are two people at Ago. One of them is Arno, who is the CEO with a mechanical engineering background, and Kirillo, who is the electronics and software engineer. The Ago developing unit is a machine that attaches to your Patterson developing tank and with the help of an electric motor, turns the reels on the inside. The real party piece of the Ago is though that it has a temperature reader, which means it measures the temperature of your chemicals and then adjusts the developing time accordingly. Right now, the Ago offers three programs, a black and white process, um, a Tetanol C41 and Bellini C41 process, and other brands such as the Sinistel C41 and E6 will be following in the future. Now, over the years, I've met a lot of people that have started developing films by themselves at home, mainly with the intent of saving money and having a bit more control over the process. The way I see film photography is that there are kind of two approaches to it. There's a traditional way of doing things where you meter very accurately. When you are developing films, you are very carefully measuring all your chemicals and you're controlling your temperature very accurately, basically so you can recreate results and you have a lot of safety and you won't get into a lot of trouble by experimenting around or getting lost and things like that. And then there is a bit more of a relaxed or hobbyist approach to film photography, which is essentially not caring so much about if the temperature is off by like half a degree or if, you know, you're metering and it's not super accurate, but it doesn't really matter because, you know, maybe you have not a lot of shadow detail, but maybe you don't need that. And yeah, essentially what I'm trying to say is that like there is no better or worse. It's just really what you want out of it. The thing that I want to kind of mention, though, is that the traditional way of doing things, there's one or two aspects that I find very helpful when you want to take photos, and that's having control over what you do. Now, most of the time, I assume you want to take good photographs and taking good photographs in film photography is connected to how the photos are processed. And having something like a um, film processor really helps you eliminate some of the variables that could end up causing you to have something like an underdeveloped film or maybe something like um, streaks from insufficient agitation or any other processing error. So right now there's three common processes that you could do at home. Number one is the black and white process and that involves a bunch of different developers that you can play around with and experiment, and some are better for pushing film, some are better for sharpness and things like that. But in general, black and white film isn't as susceptible to crazy changes if the temperature is shifting by, you know, like maximum one degree, you'll still be more or less safe when it comes to developing. When you develop color film, uh, there are two processes that are very common. One of them is the C41, which is the color negative process. That's a lot more uh, tricky, um, especially when the temperature isn't very accurate. The thing is, C41 happens at 38 degrees Celsius usually. That means your temperature is already higher. And most of the time, if you're not living in the desert or somewhere where it's crazy warm, the temperature will just start dropping. And that means you might get things like color shifting or just uneven development. And then the other process is E6, which is for slide film, for positive film. And that's even more susceptible to shifts in color or uneven developing if the temperature isn't perfect. 
So I mostly work with black and white film. And the reason that I do all the black and white film myself is just because I want to have maximum control over the process. When I shoot color film, I usually drop it off at a lab because it's much easier just to have a lab with a machine that is controlled, temperature controlled, has a control over the chemicals, and that will give you very good results. Also because with color process, you can't actually mess around too much with the developer type because the developer doesn't really affect things like the sharpness or what kind of grain you can get because it's more of a standardized process. But now that I have a Ago film processor, I'm probably considering doing all my color developing at home as well, just because I have a lot more safety now and I don't have to worry so much about shifts in temperature. Anyway, for today's video, I'm going to be, well, I actually shot some Ilford Pan F and for today's video, I going to develop two of the roles that I shot and I'm going to be using Ilford's ID11 developer. Now I'm not going to delve into too much of the routine of how to actually develop black and white film. I have a few classes on my Skillshare page where I go into the details of like how to mix chemicals properly and what kind of ratios you need to watch out for and things like that. So if you want to learn more about that, I'm going to put a link into the description below and you can find out more about that there. So to begin with, the things that we need to develop film with the Ago film processor is obviously the Ago film processing unit. That's the first thing that you'll need. The film processing unit uh, comes with one of these rear stands and that will attach on the back of your Patterson tank. Now, you're going to need a Patterson tank to develop film with the Ago because um, that's the system that it works for. And then the other thing that you'll need is a changing bag or a room that goes completely blacked out, dark, where no light will come in. Uh, you'll need some films that you're shooting, um, some darkroom chemicals, developing chemicals, and some measuring cylinders to measure your chemicals. So the developer that I'll be using is Ilford's ID11, which is a very standard and versatile powder developer. The technical data by Ilford recommends a reduction of 15% developing time for rotary developing. Now, Ilford recommends 6 minutes and 30 seconds for stock solution and minus 15% developing time would mean I will reduce the developing time to around 5 minutes and 30 seconds. So since these films won't be totally submerged in the developing tank but will be rotating horizontally through the chemicals, we won't actually need that much chemical liquid. Now the folks over at Vintage Visual have calculated the minimum chemical requirement for development. For the two reel tank, we therefore only need 350 milliliters of chemicals for two rolls of film rather than 580 milliliters, which means you're saving 230 milliliters of chemicals in total, which over the years and months and whatever will definitely add up and it means you'll be saving a lot of money. Usually while preparing the chemicals, I will use 20 degree water to ensure that all the, the developing fluid, the stop bath and the fixer all have the same temperature and will all work in exactly the same way. So for this video, I've kept the water temperature to as close as possible to 20 degrees Celsius, but because of the high temperature right now here, I think it's 28 degrees Celsius in, in, in Vienna right now. And, um, that's definitely affecting the water temperature and the temperature of the chemicals that are just standing around in the room waiting to be used. Um, that means I won't actually have perfectly bang on 20 degrees Celsius. So there will be some shifts. And what Ago does is it will read the, the temperature in the Patterson tank and it will compensate um, either making the time shorter or making the time longer if the chemicals are, for example, too cold. Now, what the guys of Vintage Visual definitely recommend is that you don't go completely crazy with the temperatures. So keep it within 18, I think, to 24 degrees Celsius if you're doing black and white. And if you're doing um, C41, then you should be in somewhere in between 30 to 38 degrees Celsius. So once the film has been inserted into the Patterson tank, we can connect it to the processing unit. Now, the first thing that we have to do is um, you can see these 
holes that are in the funnel right here. And these holes essentially allow the chemicals inside the tank to flow freely once the unit has been attached to it. So what we have to do is we have to watch out that these holes stay at the bottom. And then all we need to do is connect the unit and make sure it sits tight. And then finally, all we need to do is add the rear stand onto the unit so we can place it firmly onto the ground and it won't move around and it will be exactly horizontal. I'll turn on the unit by pressing the on button. Then I press start. I'll get to the main menu where I'll select the programs. I'm doing black and white. And all I got to do now is adjust the developing times. So I'll just press on the developing time, set it to five and a half minutes. I'll have the rotation turned on and 20 degrees. Stop seems all right, one minute. And the fix I'll change to five minutes as well. Perfect. And now we are ready to go. So the first program is the developer and all I'll do now is pour the developer into the unit. So what you can see is that since the room temperature is quite high, the temperature of the developer has actually risen to 23 degrees now and the AGO has automatically adjusted the developing time to take away one minute and 12 seconds. That means our developing process will be a bit quicker because of the higher temperature. We have a warning now that the developing process is over. Next up, we have the stop bath. So to wrap up this video, I'm just going to recap some of the benefits of using the Agro film processing machine. Number one, it saves a lot of chemicals. That means over time, as you're developing, you're always going to be saving money. And that's definitely something worth considering in times like these where everything is just getting more and more expensive. Number two, it has a lot of structure. That means you can't forget a step. You have a program that's always there reminding you to change your chemicals or to insert new ones and it will give you a bit more safety and you won't have to worry so much about missing an agitation cycle for example or forgetting to agitate at all then it obviously takes away a lot of the work it um, automates everything you don't have to worry so much about always being there especially if you have a longer developing time you could actually just leave the machine working for itself Obviously, you'd have to change the chemicals in between, but like if you have like a 15 minute developing time, then you could just let it sit and you won't have to worry about anything. And that's certainly something that I noticed when I was developing. I all of a sudden realized like, wow, I don't really have to do anything. I'm just sitting there watching the machine do the work. And yeah, I guess that's kind of cool. And then finally, the best thing for me personally is that the Ago film processor measures the temperature inside the tank and compensates the developing time. And that really gives you so much safety and so much control over your developing process. If you have any more questions about the Ago, feel free to drop a comment down below and please like and subscribe and just drop a comment for the algorithm. You know what to do. So thank you so much for tuning in and happy developing. Till next time.